Hello, everybody. <laughs> it has been a while since I've streamed, so I think I've forgotten how everything works. <laughs> um, sort of testing out some different things in terms of background noise and all of that. So, if you're, hey there, um, if you're in the chat. Can you let me know two things? Number one, can you hear the music in the background? Um, and number two, is my voice loud enough on top of that music so that you can hear me speaking and the music is not drowning me out? Uh, I've tried to, to tweak the audio stream so that at least you can hear the background noise. I think the last few times I did this, it was very, very quiet. Uh, but let me know, can you hear me? Can you hear? <laughs> can you hear me clearly? And Okay, the music stopped now. Um, but when the music plays, can you can you hear the music playing in the background? Uh, if you can't hear it, let me know, and I'll increase the volume slightly. Uh, so just just let me know in the chat. Uh, a couple of folks saying they can hear me very clearly. Um, let me know if you can hear the music as well. It should be playing now. Can't hear the music. Okay. So some folks can hear the music, some folks can't. Let me see if I can turn it up slightly. It's not the end of the world if you can't hear it. I'm trying to make it so that you can hear the music and it doesn't over overpower my voice. So let me know if you can hear it now. Uh, okay, so we are hearing some music. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to drop it down slightly. Uh, just because I find it hard to think when the music is too loud. <laughs> All right, um, a couple of things before we get started. Uh, I am expecting a delivery today, this afternoon. It is now 2 p.m. my time. I'm expecting a delivery today. It could arrive any time now between here and the next two hours. So if that does happen, I will just... If that happens. Um, hope it, hopefully it happens after the stream is done, but it could happen. Uh, I'm just going to check whether the Twitch streaming is happening. I guess it is because you all are in the chat with me. So there it is. That works. So we can close that down. Um, and then let's get on to, to what we're doing here today. Um, so uh, about, hmm, about a week ago now, maybe even longer, somebody in a Slack channel, it was, it was May the 15th, so two weeks ago now, Somebody in a local community Slack that I belong to asked, is it possible to use the inter interactivity API outside of WordPress? Now, if you've never used the inter interactivity API, it's a new package that was added to WordPress core in WordPress 6.5. Uh, I have run a few live streams. I think it was one or two maybe live streams or workshops on just the basics of the interactivity API and how it works. Um, but according to, according to the documentation, uh, you should be able to use the interactivity API outside of WordPress. Uh, so you would need to have Node.js and NPM installed on your machine and be able to set up a, an NPM project. Um, but obviously as a, as a WordPress developer, as a WordPress educator, I've never thought about using it outside of, of, um, of WordPress. Until somebody asked, and I thought, well, why not? Um, you know, the whole, whole point of some of these these new packages is to be able to use them outside of WordPress. And so I thought it would be cool to see what that would entail, uh, what it would take, whether I can figure it out. Um, I have done no homework here, no no background research. I have a few links that I've picked up here and there, but I haven't actually tried this myself. So it's going to be interesting. Um, the links that I'm working off today, so I'm going to first share the interactivity package. No, not that one. I'm going to share the interactivity package with you in the chat if you want to follow along. Um, the links that I'm... Why did that not send in the chat? There we go. The links that I'm working off is there was a question um, in the Gutenberg repository in the discussions uh, on April the 23rd, in fact, about making interactivity to work as a standalone. Um, so, for example, uh, that you could have it hosted somewhere... Um, and just be able to to load it into your site. Um, 
So that's the one link that I'm working on. I'm going to share that with you as well. I also want to just mention that there is some work happening next to my office. So if you hear some banging or some shouting or some drilling, uh, I'm hoping that my noise cancelling software will, will drown most of that out. But I apologize if that does come through on the stream. Um, the joys of live streaming in the real world. <laughs> um, hi there to... I am Axel Chip, I think. <laughs> I am Axel Chip by the looks of it. Hi there. Um, the other link that I'm working on there is the Stack Blizz project that um, Michelle, who is the developer who answered this question, actually put together. Um, he put together a, a Stack Blizz code code example. Uh, this is all public. This is all publicly available on the Gutenberg repository via the links that I've shared. So feel free to go check that out. Um, and he's just using a toggle. Um, element toggle what is it called toggle binding um, toggle action if you will what he is doing however is he is including the interactivity.min.js um, which is one way we can do this and it might be the way that I end up reverting to uh, and he's just importing it inside of his main JavaScript file and his JavaScript file is just being loaded inside of his uh, demo page um, so what I might try and do is just see if how, how this would work locally uh, without maybe having direct access to interactivity. I don't even know how that's going to work. Um, and then I'm going to take it from there. Um, the other thing that I, that I may or may not do <laughs> is a while ago I built a game. Uh, and I'm going to load this game up on my site very quickly. Hopefully this will work. Uh, that uses the interactivity API. It's called Dodge. Uh, I built it as a as a simple little project over the holidays this year, uh, over December, um, and it's just a game where you can have this little icon that you can move around the screen, and and sort of try and dodge all the other CMSs that are out there. Um, and the longer you can stay alive, the the greater your score and the greater your level and your time, all that kind of thing. And so the interactivity um, bindings that I'm using for this game is essentially keyboard bindings. So I'm I'm binding to the the arrow keys. Uh, I'm also binding to the R, S, and some some other key for restarting the game and stopping the game and that kind of thing. Uh, that's about all the interactivity that I'm using, really. Um, the rest of the game is just standard HTML, CSS, and JavaScript sort of game engine things. Um, but that's that's how it is. Let's do it. it explodes, and you can put in your high score, um, and so the arrow keys and then S to start the game and R to reset the game are what I'm using interactivity for. So I'm going to, I, I, I might try this, I might not. I'm gonna see how much of this game I can try and re replicate uh, in a standalone demo. Maybe try and hook it up to a WordPress site for the REST API stuff. Um, I may not get that today. I may get completely stuck on just getting it working in a standard little demo page. So we will see how that goes. So that's kind of the end goal plan. Um, if it takes over two streams to get there, then that's fine. Um, but that's kind of what I'm working with. So if you want to check out the code for this game, here is the link. This is a public repository. You're welcome to check it out, fork it, uh, do whatever you want with it. I don't mind. Uh, it was a fun little weekend. Was it a weekend? It was a couple of days. It took me a couple of days. Um, about four or five months ago. Wait, wait, yeah. uh, five months ago was the original, the original commit. Let's have a look. Uh, it was over. It was over the Christmas period. Uh, it doesn't show dates here. Anyway, January first. Yeah. So it was sort of at the beginning of the new year, end of the last year, when I was on my end of year break. Uh, it's about the only time I have to, to to hack on little side projects like this. Um, and if you want to just play the game, you can do so over here. Um, I'll share that with you. You're welcome to just play it there. Um, uh, it does have a high scores table, which currently is broken for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, actually, maybe it's not broken. Let's just have a look here. Let's see if this resets. Um, yeah, for some reason, the high score is broken. I'm not sure why, so I'll have to figure that one out. Uh, but anyway. So let's start with just getting a basic demo page up and running. So what I've got here is I've got a WordPress, a local WordPress site running on WordPress.test local domain. I've also got a little demo site running on demo.test. Um, in my code editor, I use PHP Storm in case you're wondering. 
Uh, and one of the reasons I love PHP Storm is I can have multiple uh, sites open in the same sort of project. So here's the WordPress install and here's the demo install. The demo just has a standard uh, index.html page on it. Why is that throwing an error? Element body is not closed. Oh, okay, let's fix that. Uh, there's the body tag. Okay. Um, that's not what I wanted. There we go. I'm gonna indent the body tag. Now I'll leave it as it is. So what I wanna start doing is I wanna start by just getting interactivity working on this page. Um, and I kinda wanna do it using Node.js and NPM. I wanna set up a project install the interactivity package and then see how I would link to it, um, how that might work in a sort of real world environment. Um, so I'm going to also open up, I wanna see something. I wanna see if this has a package on NPM repository site. I'm going to assume it does, yeah, there we go. This is probably an exact copy of the GitHub readme. Um, yeah, that does seem to be the case. Um, so there are no further instructions about running it outside. So we're kind of on our own here, <laughs> but that's fine. So let's, let's start the project. Uh, so I'm gonna to switch to my WK local env sites uh, demo directory. I'm going to initialize. No, I'm going to initialize an NPM project. We'll just call it demo um, and interactivity API demo. Entry point we'll leave as index.js. It's fine. I'm not going to have any test commands. I'm not going to worry about Git repo now. Keywords. I'm just going to go interactivity. Oh, there's me. <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to give it the GPL 2.0 or later license. Um, that's all fine. All right, so that does that. That's all good. Uh, now I'm going to set up interactivity API as a dependency. Um, Okay, that's working. Um, so that should mean that inside of demo, there is a node modules directory and there's all the things. There's WordPress, there's interactivity, uh, there's the bold, there's the source. Um, okay. So I am going to assume that if you are an experienced JavaScript developer, you know what to do next. Uh, I don't consider myself an experienced JavaScript developer. Uh, I have used JavaScript. Um, I have used it in what you could call the vanilla JavaScript method, uh, where you, you know, add add the file, uh, sort of sort of like, like what we're seeing here, where you just include your main JS, and then your main JS will import from interactivity min, um, so one of two things is going to happen. Either I've got to create this interactivity min file somewhere, um, or I've got to set it up so that it builds it um, or something. So I haven't quite figured out how that would work. Um, I see this is using Vite. So it probably has some things that it does automatically. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that try something. I'm going to set up this page. So I'm gonna set up I'm gonna this is this is a script as a module, so I'm going to I'm gonna just copy this content and just see what happens. Maybe it'll work and it'll all be happy days. <laughs> Maybe it won't, but it'll give us an error. Uh, so I'm going to copy that code as is. That sets up main.js. Okay. Uh, then we need a main.js file. So let's go. Uh, let's just 
JavaScript, JavaScript file, I'm gonna call it main.js, I just main should work. And then I'm gonna copy out this code. And I'm just gonna see if that works as is. Um, and what I'm gonna try and do now is, this is probably gonna need some kind of like build scripts or something. So I'm gonna try and use the scripts from WordPress scripts. So let's do that. So let's go down to WordPress scripts. I have no idea if this is going to work. Um, let's install WordPress scripts. And while that is installing, I'm going to copy out the scripts from the documentation. I'll just close VS Code. I don't need VS Code in my life today. And that's still installing. So while that's installing, I'm going to go back to the package.json and I'm going to update the scripts there. Um, I think I'll just do I'll do them all for now. Why not? It's not going to hurt anybody. Um, <clears throat> and if you're sitting here going, that's not going to work, that's fine. <laughs> I don't mind things not working. Then at least I learned something. <laughs> so I'm going to pop that in there. Um, I'm going to check on how this is going. This is still installing by the looks of it. Got some deprecations. Okay, that seems to have installed. So now we've got a whole bunch of additional modules. That's perfectly fine. And if we go to WordPress, we've got a whole bunch of other things as well. Okay. Now, I want to just see what happens. I'm just going to run npm run build. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to see if anything happens. Uh, I'm expecting it not to do anything. Source directory is not found yet because it expects it to be a source directory. Okay. So let's do that. Let's create a source directory. Uh, and I expected this to happen. And I'm going to put main.js in that source directory. So what I'm hoping is it's going to read from this and it's going to do so. Okay, this isn't a problem. That's not going to work. So I wonder if that will work. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> let's find out. Um, No entry file. Okay. Hmm. Now I wonder. Hmm. You know, this is specifically set up for like WordPressy things. Um, hmm. The documentation is not there anymore. Yay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. See, this is very specifically set up for block development. So I had a feeling this wouldn't work. The full entry point though is index.js. So if we change it to index.js, that should work. Um, okay, so that's done something. Um, so it's created a build. Created index.js, it's created the assets. See, but now that is basically that's now WordPress dependencies. Um okay, so now we do some reading. Because <laughs> now it's hit my my limit of knowledge. Um Scanning through here to see if I find anything. No, nothing there by the looks of it. Um, there's probably something I need to configure or something. Okay, let's have a read through here.
<laughs> so in case you're wondering, that person there is the chap who asked me about this in the beginning. Um, he's the reason I'm doing this. So Louis, if you're in the chat, if you're in the chat, say hi. Um, okay, so I need to generate this this interactivity.min.js somehow. Um, and that's the part that I'm not sure of. I wonder if this gives us any information. Uh, interactivity API requirements, quick start, first look at interactivity API reference stock examples. Node.js, local WordPress, you see this all requires WordPress to work. So I'm not seeing how to generate that, that min file. Hmm. I wonder if it's because he's using Vite. There's a Vite build. I've never used Vite, so let's go and have a look. Let's go see what Vite is all about. Uh, Vite is next generation front end tooling. It's a local development server. Okay. So he's using Vite for. Dev dependencies Vite, and then he's using those. I wonder if we. If we just install Vite as a dev dependency and then that's obviously what's generating the yeah but it's run to the Hmm. It would be cool if I could do this outside of needing Vite. Now, I know there was some conversation around. There was a PR that was opened recently. I'm going to see if I can find it. Um, there was this cool pull request, configure Webpack in the Gutenberg reader so that a minified and bundled version of the interactivity is also available inside of the interactivity NPM package. So without, without a build system, they would like to be able to import the package from CDN. Okay, so this is going to build packages. So this needs to be merged first. I'm going to have to implement this to get it to work. <laughs> I wonder if I can... Use the webpack config. And then add the bolt. I wonder if that would work.
Yeah, you're not wrong. Vite and WP scripts do the same job. Um, so I would need to configure WP scripts, which is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking about doing now to build the final script. Um, it's not perfect, but it might work. So let's give it a try. So let's go over here. Um, I'm going to, okay. So let's take the webpack config. Um, <laughs> that's a fair point. Okay, let's take this webpack config as it is. Um, if I copy this, yeah, it'll copy it out. And it's just webpack.config.js. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work. We'll see. Let's see if it works. Um, so let's create a new file. Webpack.config.js. Excuse me. Okay. So that is a standalone version. Okay. So that is. I don't know if this is gonna work. We'll have to see. No, that's not going to work because that's looking for inside of node modules. So it's probably going to need to be something like this. I don't even know if this is going to work because this is this code is meant to be used inside the package. So my guess is going to be something like node modules. Is this here? WordPress. Tools web back shared. So tools folder here. Yeah. search no okay, so if this is let me just think about this if this is inside of the WordPress interactivity it's going up to so it's going up one. It's meant to run. Hmm. Okay, now I've got to figure out where that is. Um, base config required tools webpack. So this is inside packages interactivity. This is good. Oh, this might be inside of something else. Hmm. Yeah, this has got to run inside of interactivity package. I would have to set this up. Hmm. At the moment, the only way really to do it is to grab this like this. There's no... Or 
or use the white bolt thing. Or configure. Hmm. I would definitely need to configure the scripts. WordPress scripts to know what to build. And I don't know Webpack well enough. Um, what happens when running npm run start? It's essentially the same as npm run build. Just running it with start runs the development server. Um, but it, it generates the same files. So it's not going to give us what we need. Hmm. What we need to do is we need to configure Webpack to generate I just had a thought. Um what happens if I just point this to build.index? What if that'll just work? Let's see. I'm gonna close that webpack file. Might just work. <laughs> Let's delete the webpack file. Um, and then we point this to bold index.js. No, it's. No, it's relying on WP interactivity. It's just not going to work. It's going to throw. It's going to throw an error. But let's have a look and see. Um, <coughs> yeah. So it's going to throw that error. So. Look, one way you could do this is you could see what gets generated in a WordPress site. Just copy that file over. I mean, that's a really hacky way to do it. I wonder if it would work though. Let's see. Um, I'm going to switch over to my My WordPress site, I'm going to clone this repository. And then I'm going to switch to the repository and then I'm going to build everything. Right. Where's that happening? Plugins. Oh, need to install everything. <laughs> Stupid. Need to install all the NPM stuff first. <laughs> now we can build. Yay. Okay, so that's built the plugin. Let's go here and activate it. And then let's add it to a post. There we go. Update that. And view it. Okay, so there's the post. So now, if I look for interactivity, I should see it coming up somewhere. Um, wonder if it interactivity there yeah see there it is so this includes js dist interactivity.min.js 
So if we go here and we go includes JS dist interactivity. Now that probably, maybe that works. Where's the min file? Should we find out? Let's find out. Okay, so let's copy that into our demo. Just paste it there. I have no idea if this is going to work. So let's close that and close that and let's close that. And let's. Okay, so there's our index. So let's create main. Oh, I called it main. Oh, that's fine. Okay. And then in the main.js, let's just copy what was in here. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, go away. Okay. Let me go back to the example. So it was like this. Move my, I've got my coffee sitting in front of me next to the keyboard. I'm going to move it out the way because if I knock it over on my keyboard, I'm not going to be very impressed with myself. Um, okay, so let's pop that in. Ah, uh, copy. Okay, so that'll get from interactivity main, which does exist, which we've copied over. I'm going to take out the, um, the script stuff for now. So let's go. Not just in the demo. Uh, and let's go, or is it npm? I can't remember. npm install scripts. So it's npm remove WordPress scripts, I think. I just want to kind of clean up all the stuff we were trying out there. Um, in fact, none of this is relevant anymore, actually, um, because we don't need it. So let's delete that. Let's delete the bold. I probably don't even need the node modules. I probably don't need the scripts. I'll just delete all of this for now. Okay. So there's index. There's bold index. No, no, we want to point to main now. Um, So there's main, there's our main. It's importing from that file, which is there. Let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, okay, so that throws a false. Hey, it works. <laughs> okay, so that's one way to do it. Um, so build a block that supports the interactivity API in WordPress. Copy the interactivity API bin file out into your standalone folder, and then you can use it exactly the same way that uh, I think it's Michelle. I think that's how you pronounce his name. If you're listening, but I apologize for messing your name up. Uh, but I think it's Michelle uh, or Michal. I'm not sure. Or Michal. I'm not sure which. Um, but that's exactly how he's using it. Um, and then once, where is it? Once this pull request gets included. Uh, ah, then it will actually be possible to generate a standalone from the package. So it would be cool to come back to this um, at some point uh, when this is merged and test this out. But it does at least work, which is cool. Um, so... Now that we know it works, I'm going to try and start. Migrating my plugin code over. Yes, no. It took, me, it took me 40 minutes to get there. Um, I'll be honest, I would prefer if there was a way that I could include the package and then know how to build it so that it you know that 
using it. I guess that way it's got to be inside of WordPress. And it makes sense that I can't access it the normal way. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. Um, that's a typical JS Dev's day goes. That's not typical any developer's day goes. <laughs> um, I'm interested to see what, what this looks like once it's merged. I feel like once this is merged, then, then I'll actually have something proper to work with. Uh, it would still be cool if there was a way that I could configure it without having to copy the file over. But I guess at least it does work. Okay. Um, let me have a look here. So let me just go back to my game. And what I basically have is I have, these are the high scores. No, that's not what I want. This is what I want. So this is what my game looks like. Um, it's essentially some very simple HTML inside of a div. Um, so what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start copying some of this over. So let's put that in there. Then we can start figuring things out. Probably not going to need the block wrapper attributes. I am going to need to change the icons. So let's copy those over. And boy, what fun it was finding those icons. Okay, so now it should just be a case of replacing all instances of this with icons. Probably need to do that. And yes, there's inline styling. Deal with it. <laughs> um, okay, so that'll give us something. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, the icons aren't working. Demo test icons work with some SVG. <laughs> there it is. What's your problem? And why not load SVGs in the in the browser? I guess not. Um, no, there it is. It's found it. What's your problem? I think Brave is just being stupid. What? Probably some other weird SVG thing that I don't know about. I mean, I would. I would have thought not, but maybe. Okay, let's do this. Let's delete that and we'll do it through the file browser thing. I 
really wouldn't have thought that that would have happened if I did that that way, but let's have a look. Okay. No, oh, man. It's going to make me angry now. Stick it in the root. Uh. <laughs> Stuff like that annoys me. Yeah, it's probably because it's in the icons folder or something. You probably find there's some weird like, like you can't have an icons folder in your root or something. Ridiculous, bet you. Uh, some days. Yeah, now you watch. If we rename it to like images or something, it'll work. That's so annoying. I need to know what that is now. Apache icons folder in web root. It's probably some weird Apache thing. Anyway, moving on with my life. Yeah, why? <laughs> exactly, why? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's just too funny. All right, so we change icons to images, apparently. Good grief. Okay, let's take this whole one here and do it there. Some days I love the web and some days I hate it. That's <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, just too funny. That's uh, just too funny. All right, let's go back. Where were we? Here we are. No, not that one. Um, okay, so that's working. Um, so now some of the styling that I think I had in the plugin is probably missing. Um, yeah, I definitely had some game container styling and all that kind of thing. So... I'm going to need to pull that over. I'm just going to stick this all in the web root at this point in time. I don't care about nice folder structure and all that nonsense. I just literally want it to work. So we're just going to call it index.css. Keep it super simple. Um, and then the WP block class probably doesn't exist. So I'm going to need to add it to the root so i'm going to go class and we'll just call it interactive game uh, interactive game interactive game block interactive game 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 block yeah so i'm going to take out all the wp block stuff because that's what gets generated by wordpress blocks so take that out I love the fact that you all joined me for that journey <laughs> about the images. That was just really daft. It really was. Um, okay, so that should start looking a little bit better now. Oh no, I need to include the style sheet. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go style. Can I remember how to view styles? 
I haven't done styles like this in forever. Um, I want to say Atrif? No. Source? No. I can't remember. No. Is it style? Link. That's the one. Thank you, ChatGPT. Uh, it's been so long since I've hard-coded these things. Um, okay, let's do this. Doesn't seem to be working yet. Oh, because I called it index.css. There we go. This is old school web dev, folks. Still not doing anything. Check my... Interactive game, game block. Oh, because I did the wrong one. Hang on, let's copy this out. Okay, and let's close that one and let's update this one. There we go. That should work now. Yay! We have things. Um, I'm going to just wipe the mouth spray off my mouth mic there but i just sprayed all over um okay now can i get the so there's a couple of things else that i need i need the game engine which is basically um the view no i don't need the game engine the view where's the game engine the game engine is in the index no Oh, I can't for the life of me remember where this is. Um, there is a game engine script. Axios I used. Oh, yeah, assets dodge. That's right. Assets dodge. Okay, so there's a dodge.js file. So let's copy that over. And basically, this contains like the all the game engine stuff. So setting up of cookies and things and getting offsets and all the game container stuff. Um, nothing to do with interactivity. This is just, you know, how the different things work. Um, I have a feeling some of the classes are, yeah. Uh, it's going to take way too long to figure out. Quickly running through this code to see if there's anything very specific to the WordPress generated content. Yeah, this this stuff will be, but it's not a problem now. That's the cookie which I don't need anyway. That's the high score check stuff. That's the explosion. That's the collision detection. Like if you want to go for a deep dive into game development and figure out what all these things mean, I recommend going to, I think it's Mozilla Developer Network. They've got like a whole tutorial on game development. Um, uh, yeah, this is, I spent a lot of time reading these docs um, when I was figuring out how to do like the game engine and all those things. Recommended reading. Um, but let's get back here doesn't look like I am referring to any specific things in here, which is good because I should then just be able to copy this over and use it. So that's fine. Um, so that's dodge there. So let's close that down. What I am going to need, however, is the um, this stuff. So these are the stores. I'm going to need those. So those I'm going to put into my um, my main.js and I think this will just work now this is WP Interactive Game I'm going to close some, some things down here because I'm going to get myself confused uh, that I don't need that I don't need that I don't need okay um, so I have given it the same namespace, so that should work. Something should happen. 
It's either going to work or it's going to throw an error. I'm finding the music a bit loud, so I'm going to just drop the music down a little bit, folks. I hope it's not too much of a problem. Just getting a little bit overpowering for my brain. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Reset game is not defined. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, that's because I need to include dodge. So let's include dodge as well. And this I'm just going to include as a normal script. Okay. And then if I click, okay, reset game, can't read properties of null, reading SRC, dodge for 921. Need some getting errors. Um, okay, where did I set up the icons? Here we go. Selectors game icon. Oh, that's not working. Oh, you know why? Probably because I need to stick this in the after all the HTML is loaded. That's probably why. And I probably should do some like better closures and things because this code's all running was in running in WordPress and I didn't need any of that. Um, so I'm going to leave it like that for now. Hey, <laughs> would you look at that? It just works. <laughs> that's freaking cool. It just works. Uh, okay, that's not going to work because I don't have REST API stuff set up, but the game itself just works. Um, <laughs> that's pretty sweet. So what I'm going to do is... I'm actually going to call it a day there. It took me an hour to migrate it over. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, that's kind of cool. That's kind of really cool. Um, so what I did do is I did, I'm pretty sure that I included the Axios. Did I? I'm trying to remember. Ah, I included the Axios from uh, JS Deliver. So let's include that. Um... So let's go back to here and we'll pop it down at the bottom here. Uh, I'm going to have to remember how to do this. So if you don't know what Axios is, Axios is a JavaScript uh, HTTP client. So it's for sending and receiving REST API requests. Um, one of the features of the game is storing um, the scores via a REST API endpoint. Uh, so let's use the JS deliver option. So there we go. So we'll just pop that. I'm going to stick it just above dodge. There we go. And then what won't work is the actual REST API request, but that's fine. That I can fix much later. All right, so let's get the game running. Let's fire off a boom, explosion, collision. John. Okay, so that's not going to work because that REST API endpoint doesn't work. Um, 
But because I have the plugin installed here, I should be able to post to this WordPress site. So there is a high scores endpoint. To do that, I need to set up a cookie. Uh, I need to set up a constant, um, which doesn't quite work at the moment because it needs to be a WordPress, I think, user. I'm trying to remember how I did that. Um, basically, it needed a... Yeah, it sets up it sets up a cookie with the details and pops it into the into the cookie and then you can pull it from there. And it's basically just a username and password to push to the REST API endpoint. Um, which I have at least um, protected by using proper like uh, there's the roots, fish, there's the fish of the scores, and I set up capabilities for that user. So I'm not too worried about getting that to work now. Um, I am pretty stoked about the fact that this just works as is. Um, so this is running purely outside of WordPress, just using the Interactivity API. Um, That's really cool. I have to admit, it's really cool that all I had to do was change a couple of class names um, and it just worked. I really expected this to take longer. <laughs> I could sit here forever and play this. Um, cool. I am going to disable the high score for now just on this version of the game. Um, now to remember how this all works. So let's do this and this and this and this and this and this. Okay, let's close this down. So we don't need the Interactivity API package. We don't need the node modules. We don't need any of that. So I'm gonna delete all of that uh, because this is running using the inter Interactivity min.js. So I'm gonna delete the package file uh, this is old school web. Um, there. there we go. And just to prove to you that it does still work, I'm going to refresh the page. Ah, the fab icon, that's fine. Uh, and it still works. Yay. Boom. Um, and then I'm going to disable the the message. I'm going to say the score and then I'm going to disable the message logging. Um, which I think is in here somewhere. Yes, so I'm going to pull that code out. I don't need I don't need the cookie. I don't need to do the REST API stuff. The offset can stay, game container and all that can stay. So if anybody wants to run through this, they're more than welcome to. I'm going to make this publicly available on a GitHub repository if anybody wants to check this out. Um, there's all the collision detection. There's the high score. Check okay. There you go. Your score is blah. Okay, we're not going to post the high score. Um, I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so I can see what I'm doing here. So there's that. There's that. We don't need a prompt. We just need an alert. And then we can get rid of all this. We don't need this. And then we don't need to post the high score. If you want to, you can see this code. It's in the GitHub repository for the original plugin. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it now. There's all the game loop stuff. Okay. Cool. Let's check that out. There's the game. There's the game running. Let's have the explosion. Boom. There's your high score. Da -da 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 -da. Done. Happiness. That's awesome. 
Um, so yes, the one thing we did need was to copy the interactivity min.js from um, the WordPress install. So you don't even need to build a block plugin for that. It's just sitting inside WP includes JS dist interactivity.js.min. There it is. So you just grab it from any WordPress install and it's available to you as a standalone thing. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, I am going to upload all of this. Let's create a little GitHub repository for this. Um, did it, no, not load WordPress, my own. Yes, you're wondering, yes, I still need to look at the keyboard. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to, uh, let's just see here, interactivity. So I'm going to just name it um, interactive game demo. So it's kind of tied to the two. So let's go here, let's create a new repo, call it interactive game demo. Let's call it standalone demo. Okay, and I'm just gonna make it public, all good. And then let's just copy this line. Get the net, get add, get commit, get branch. Okay, get net, get add, minus A, I think it is. Minus A. Minus minus A. Oh, now I've taken it off screen. Oh, uh, get commit minus A. Oh, I don't need the DS store. I don't need the idea stuff. Hmm. DS store and the idea stuff. Get RA minus minus cached. Here store and oh, I've got to do it minus R. There we go. I'll do a just ignore, get ignore later. Okay, there's all the files. Demo commit. Okay, and then we need get branch minus M main get branch minus m. main I actually tend to call mine trunk but anyway it doesn't matter um, and then get push minus u origin main Okay, so now you should be able to find all of that code there. Um, so I'll add a readme later. Here is the code. Feel free to take it, play with it, pull it, push it, break it. Um, just as a note, the interactivity.min.js is obviously whatever the current version of that of that uh, file is. So it's versions, current version of WordPress is 6.5.3. So as that gets changed and updated, that file will change. Um, John MC says, how to copy save the chat log? I honestly have no idea. I don't, I don't know. I don't um, save ch Twitch chat logs. Um, but what I will do is I am going to, uh, I wonder if I can, what I will do is I will go over uh, let me just see. I'll go, I'll, I'll take all the links that I shared um, and I will add them to the readme file of the Git repository. Um, and I'll add the link to the Git repository in the meetup.com page. Um, so if you join through the meetup.com event, I'll add it there. Uh, if you didn't join through the meetup.com event, go there now and RSVP for the event, and then you'll get comments there. Um, and I'll do my best to remember all these things that I that we use and that I shared. Um, 
And I'll also be uploading the recording of this live stream to our YouTube channel probably Friday or Monday. Um, so you'll be able to watch it and rewatch it if you need to. Um, I'll have a look and see if it's possible to save the chat log in, in Twitch. Um, I don't know how it works. Never tried, but I'll see if I can. Um, but I'll do my best to, to add a readme to this as well tomorrow. And I'll link everything that we've chatted about in the readme. Um, so you can go and read those links. I'll, I'll make sure to save them now while I have them all open here. And I'll do my best to save them all and paste them all for you. Okay. Um, I'm pretty impressed that that all just worked. Um, a lot of this code, you know, if you really want to dive into this game code, you're more than welcome to. Uh, a lot of it doesn't really make sense. What I would recommend you do if you do pull this down tomorrow or whenever, is focus on the main.js file. You'll see a lot of the functions in here I'm calling elsewhere. But this is the core interactivity stuff. Um, so setting up the directives, setting up the namespace, calling the action. So there's the enable move icon action. Uh, and then here somewhere is the enable move icon. There it is. So that all seems to work quite nicely. Um, and then the actual game stuff is all the stuff inside the dodge file. So that's just all the stuff to keep the game working. So yeah, feel free to pull it down on your side, check it out, work through it, um, understand how it works. Uh, if you have any questions on any of this, and you want to ask me if you have questions, there are a couple of places you can find me. Um, the best place to find me is inside of the Make WordPress Slack, um, which if you aren't already, you can go to chat.wordpress.org and that'll guide you through the process of setting up your Slack account for the WordPress Slack. You can download the Slack app to your desktop or to your phone or whatever, and you can DM me there at any time with any questions about development, anything related to WordPress development or other development if you want, or anything about this project. Um, you're welcome to, to also add issues to any of my repositories if you want to ask me questions there, but WordPress Slack is the best place to ask me um, because I might not see not see that. Um, if you want to email me, I don't mind if you email me on my About Me page. So my website is jonathanbossinger.com and on my About Me page, if you scroll right down to the bottom of that page, why is it not loading? Oh, there we go. I clicked on the wrong link. There's a picture of me from last year. <laughs> um, if you scroll right down to the bottom of my page, there is an email me link. You're welcome to email me at any time with questions. I can't guarantee I'll answer them straight away, but I do my best to try and answer them as soon as I can. Um, so feel free to email me there if you like. No problems with that. Um, cool. That went really well. That went a lot better than I expected. Um, I think one of the reasons it went better than I expected is I don't tend to write code that heavily relies on specific WordPress functionality, especially with this block. Um, I didn't, you know, I tried to name things that were pretty, uh, what's the word, um, generic. So it was really just changing the images and the icons. That wasn't that a trip, folks. <laughs> um, and then and then migrating everything over. Uh, but that was fun. I look forward to following the uh, the pull request. Um, I see this was created, when was it created? Two weeks ago. So hopefully this gets merged. My guess is that this will get merged in a future release of at least the Gutenberg plugin and then eventually the WordPress repo. Um, but I'm going to be keeping an eye on this to see when it when it gets merged um, because this could make it you know easier to be able to, to generate these things. I do wish there was a better way that I could install the package and then run some kind of build step, some kind of pre-configured Webpack config and it would generate it for me in the root of my directory. Um, but, you know, we figured out a way. We're developers, we figure out solutions. Um, so yeah, that was really, really cool. I enjoyed I enjoyed doing that. I had set this up for two hours, but I'm gonna call it, uh, I'm gonna call it the end of a live stream here. Um, thank you all for joining me. I hope you learned something today about using these packages outside of WordPress, or at least this one. Um, and feel free to ping me if you have any questions. Bye.